Hi friends, welcome to the part 20. We are looking at real certification questions or security special. You can subscribe and stay tuned to the latest in the cloud certification. This channel is fully focused on helping you clear cloud certifications. A lot of people have cleared certifications. Now this specialty certification, I would suggest that don't think that only security guys has to give it. If you are an architect, data engineer, then you should also plan to appear for the certification. If you see this, this is a 170 minute exam, $300 exam, so 65 questions. So believe me, you can clear it even if you are not having a lot of experience in the cloud environment. So this says that you should have five years of IT security experience, but it's not required. You know, the way I am explaining the answers and clearing the concepts using my videos plus some other content you can clear the certifications now there are some questions which are free on aws like uh, sample questions these are free the exam guides are free plus there is a practice test which is free you can leverage these so the way i teach in this experience uh, you will find it very interesting to absorb the content. Basically, my goal is to help you clear the certification under $20 of investment in the studies. Let us look at this question. This question is a question on storage of credentials. Okay. And these credentials should be auditable. So how should you store it so that these are auditable? That is the basic crux of it. Thousand internal things and things I forget about it. Just come to the point. What is the pain point for which we have to give a solution? The first answer is manage it. Leverage that. See the systems manager, you know, it is about centralizing operational data from various AWS services. So there can be uh, multiple EC2 instances, there can be AWS, RDS, Redshift, and so on. So it will take the operational data from all of these services. Plus, you know, the second part is plus you can automate tasks across different resources. So now you use Systems Manager to store the credentials as secure string parameters. See, if you have sensitive data like credentials, you can create secure string parameters so this will hold the parameter name and an encrypted parameter value so this is important right so parameter name can be credential or password and encrypted parameter value would be the actual password value that will be encrypted and they usually use kms to encrypt and decrypt because these person stores the control keys or you know, the keys the actual keys are stored here so a looks correct to me let us look at other options d is wrong because they are saying they will store the credentials in rds database so we never store it that way see in aws there is a way of doing things you cannot smoke weed and do whatever you want you cannot smoke weed and do whatever you want. Option C is telling you to use secrets manager. This manages the life cycle of secrets. What sort of secrets? It may be database credentials. It may be API keys or, or other secrets. In our question, this is not a database credential. This is the credential for the devices now secrets manager also uses key management service for the key encryption decryption we also use that the problem is this is not independently auditable we want independent auditability and d is saying that store the credential in json file so that any tom dick and harry can see your password and say oh fantastic okay this is his guy's password so this is wrong but as you can see they are using server side encryption so the json file the password is encrypted nobody can see it but this is 
a very crude way of storing the things so there are two crude ways b they are saying that we will store it in the rds database d they are saying that we will store it in a json file in s3 so this is my answer so let us look at the next question in this question they are looking to you know they already have a cmk they want uh, to the keys to be rotated what should we do here first one says enable automatic rotation for cmk okay so you can do that rotating the kms keys you can do that so the rotation has no effect on the data that you protect see a would work if the key materials were generated by aws kms but here they are they have imported the key materials so thumb rule says for imported key materials you cannot use this rotation policy now option b is telling you to do blah 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 so many things like cli create lambda function and then rotate so you are trying to reinvent the wheel do not reinvent use aws services this exam is to test your aws knowledge not to test your uh, invention skills to create a custom solution c is wrong because they are telling you to manually rotate the cmk d would simply work why because we are creating a new cmk and we are importing the new key material so we got the new key now and we will point the key allies to the new cmk so that way your application will still work and this will be done every year so this is my final answer so this is the next question see whatever is the question is okay let's first straight away jump into the options and then see if there is any stupid stuff that we can identify the world is a lot more stupid than uh, we think so so a if you see they are telling that store the database credential in kms kms is all about controlling the keys for encryption the kms is not about passwords or credentials so this is wrong and on the same lines here also b is also wrong because they are again telling to store the credentials in kms so i have straight away without looking at the answer or question i have just eliminated two options so whenever you see big questions look at it and see if there is any stupid stuff available now c and d both are telling you to put in secrets manager and we know that secret manager is used to store secret so what sort of secrets database credentials api keys so we have to now compare what is the difference between c and d the second line looks the same they are creating an im role that is the same this line is also same they will add a role to the ec2 instance profile they will attach the instance profile to ec2 instances and they will attach it to the lambda function d says set up a lambda to use the new role for execution now we want to look at the question because it is difficult to solve it now let us look at the question what does the question say there is a three tier application was the first tier that is the application tier that is the application tier it runs on ec2 instances the backend tier is on rds and lambda functions they also fire queries on rds using same credentials and the credentials must be stored so that ec2 instance and lambda function can access so basically where do you want to store the credentials by default we all know about secret manager is a space aws told you so many times again and again and again 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 secrets manager is where you store the credentials so we have addressed this no other access is allowed the access logs must record when credentials are accessed and by whom it was accessed see one thing that looks very uh, i mean looking at it it seems wrong is you are attaching the instance profile to ec2 instances and here all you are also see you have already added a role to ec2 instance profile and the same ec2 instance profile why will you attach to lambda function boss you set up lambda separately no? and that is the difference d would be my answer due to this reason uh, please subscribe and you will stay tuned to the latest certification content concepts concepts and concepts spend hours make sure that you uh, visit each and every video of this playlist just listen to it like a podcast that will help you this brings us to the end of part 20 you will see some of the icon to the playlist now please click them and you can stay tuned and you can go through other certification content on this channel by the way i have posted part 21 in the members area cloud kernel and cloud ninja so please click the join button in the description or uh, just below the link uh, below this video and you can become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member both will have access to these contents 
happy learning and see you in the next part